Seems like forever since we've been together. Oh God, I miss you, Pat. And I read your letter. Your pictures. Oh God, I miss you so bad. It's been so good morning. It's it's ten o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's basically morning, right? First. It's quite funny, because when I did my last video, I looked back um, just before, on the 26th of October, my face, and when we were welcoming the polar night, and you can see such a big difference, of course, but just watching your face like change with the fact of no sunlight, it's fascinating, guys. Now, don't think about this. This is a little bit of a chemical burn, but I mean, hello. <laughs> this is just what happens. You know and I don't really mind you know I'll if I need to look I don't know if I I don't even no I don't even mind I'm, I'm gonna look like this but I mean when I get a glow from like the Sun I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel glowy I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and I'm not a fake tan person it's never gonna happen still some days go to go before the first sunrise the weird thing is like I showed you the 2nd of February and how light it was and you know how beautiful it was and we haven't had a single day like that since that day <laughs> so I guess it's very good that I and it's a month that I filmed that day because every day after that it's just been dark it depends a lot on how much how like how clear the skies are and that was one of those incredible days and we haven't had that since then <laughs> so but today it's very beautiful and blue and we're getting a lot more snow which is nice we are we don't have a lot of snow if we compare now to last year there's like half of it but that's kind of typical for Svalbard like it it depends a lot here you, you should have like solid seasons but the last well the years that i've been living here it's kind of been like you don't know if it's going to be snow in april or if it's going to be raining and that's very scary but so we got some new snow which is really really good but today what am i doing i am i want to go to the gym now i changed my whole routine to the other way around first i thought that i wanted to get up in the morning and you know, not leave the house and stay in and just kind of like work and stuff. But now I realize, no, the first thing I need to do is get up, eat breakfast and go straight to the gym because it gets me out of the house. You know, it kind of wakes you up in a different way. And it also makes me get my gym session in for the day. Because if I wait with it and everything, you know, kind of as long when you push it up all the time, you might not end up doing it. So I've, that's been really good. And also, I've kind of given up on getting up early in the morning, and I've changed my thinking around this as well. Before, I was like, you have to get up in the morning early, otherwise, you know, the day's gone. You know what? This time of year, there's no getting up in the early in the morning. I would rather get up at, okay, 9, 9.30, I think I got up at today, and work a little bit later, because I'm not chasing any daylight. So if that just works with how I'm feeling right now, that's just the way it is. And then in the summer, like last summer, I was up every day at seven because at seven in the morning, I could sit outside our house on this side in the sun because it was just in the right direction for like two hours and read. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna live with the seasons, guys. Oh, I feel like the energy is coming back to me. When I look back at my, the other two vlogs that I did 
like I can see that I have no energy. And I mean, it's not that weird when you think about it, but it's just crazy to be able to see it as well. But the, there was such a difference in my, not mood, I'm always happy, but you know, there was those cloudy days and that kind of made everything cloudy. It's crazy. I'm all still in my pajamas. <laughs> Let me show you a problem with all my pajamas. I have really long arms. <laughs> I have a very big and long wingspan. So every pajamas ends happily here. That's also a reason why I buy men's coats and big sizes because otherwise we'll be right here. Hey Kim. Hi. How are you doing? You doing good? Mode Broida. Mode Broida. I think we're more bra. Are you also coming alive with the season? It's Grim and I from the future. Look, it's the same pajamas, same face, different day. Look, hello. It's a nice angle. It's really nice close up there you got. Hello. Hello. It is. There it is. We are just here to tell you that this video is sponsored by NordVPN. So thank you so much to NordVPN. If you go to nordvpn.com slash Cecilia or use the code Cecilia, you get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. You're breathing too much. You breathe a little bit this way. This is not what was supposed to happen. Oh, 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 oh. So like you know, I'm Swedish, but I'm living in Norway. So I always use a VPN to be able to access all of the stuff that I want to see from back home. So NordVPN is super safe and secure. They have no data logging and they unlock entertainment websites such as Netflix. And since I know you guys love book recommendations, I'm going to do this one again because it's just so good. So this book is a Swedish crime novel. This was made into a film series that you can still watch on the Swedish Netflix and it's called Stust of Alt or it's called Quicksand and I highly recommend it. So I'm going to link this book in the description and also NordVPN link so you can check those out. So thank you so much to NordVPN and let's get back to me in the same outfit doing the same thing but a few days ago. Okay, bye. That's what I was going to say. Christopher and Grimm have left for the day. They are going to the post office. They are going to... What are they doing? They're doing some stuff that's very exciting. And I, I'm gonna, gonna throw some clothes on and do that. I have so many good plans. First of all, I am gonna scoot on my butt down to the beach here, which means that there's like a two meter drop at the lowest point because it's five meters high. And then we're gonna see if we can put a ladder there so I can go up and down because I wanna go swimming. And I want to do it right here. The thing is, it's really shallow, really far. So what I'm going to have to do is like walk out or I'm just going to have to like lay down. But I think I'm just going to wear shoes and gloves. That's usually fine. And Christopher will have to be my polar bear guard. <laughs> In the summer, like my biggest fear here would be walruses. Have you been around from last year, and I don't think most of you guys have seen this. I'll put in some footage. I was, I came home from a walk with Grimm. It was in the middle of last summer. And I just look out into the ocean. I'm like, what's that? And I'm like, wait a minute, that's what was this? So I just, I was right here outside the cabin. So I was like, hello. Cause I always say hello to the animals. You know, I say hi to the reindeer and everything. Cause it's, you know, it's just us here. So I yell out a hello and they, the three of them stop. They're like 150 meters out. They stop, they look at me and they're like, we gotta go in, we gotta go in and see what this is. And they swim to me and grim. I was like, I just summoned the walruses. So what they did was hang out on the beach right below us. We were five meters up, right down there. And Grim was like, what is happening? And it was the weirdest moment of my life. And they were just there farting and scratching themselves on the rocks for like an hour, <laughs> just because I had called on them. 
And I would say, if I was to meet a polar bear or a walrus, I would be equally as scared. Probably more scared if I was to meet a walrus in like the water. That's my biggest fear when I was taking photos of the walruses in Trikhamna. They were lying on the ice. I kind of went around with my dinghy afterwards. I was super far away. But my biggest fear is that they would go in the water and like charge at me, like, you know, a hippo. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Got a lot of good memories here with the animals. I haven't seen a polar bear in about a year. I mean, that's kind of interesting. Last year, we spent the summer out on our boat around the island. Didn't see a single polar bear. But at the same time, our friends Sailing Uma was here and they were just on the other side of the fjord and they saw three. So that's how easy it is to spot one and also to miss one. And of course, we won't go over to anywhere to see polar bears. That's just, we're not after seeing them. We're just happy if we can, our, our paths cross in a safe way. But so I haven't seen one in a long time. That would be fun to know if they're here. And me and Lynn always call them the mythical creatures because they're so elusive. <laughs> we always talk about them, but then you might not see one for so long that you're like, they're here, I promise. But then also, if I choose to like one day go out with my gun, I bet you anything that's the day I will like run into like a horde of 10 or something. So that was also a little bit, a little bit of contemplating. <laughs> I'm in a, such a weird mood today and I like it. We have our fire going almost all day now. We have bought a pallet of wood. So we've filled up our wood supply, this wood. It's, uh, imported from the mainland um, we bought one pallet and we got 60 bags for like 4,000 kroners which I thought was mm, ish what people do is they contact something on the mainland and they say that we're a bunch of people that want to buy up here from Svalbard and then they send up like containers of wood and we all do like a mutual order so we get down the price a little bit because the price that's high is the shipping you know uh, yes, that was today's rant on wood. What I was saying is that we've been using our wood stove a lot more because when it's windy, the wind... Oh, it's super windy outside. Oh, can we just have a day of no wind, please? It also ruins the snow. But when it's windy, the air, con air conditioning slash heating unit uh, has a harder time keeping the house warm and it probably never will be able to keep the whole house warm just on its own. So we've been doing cozy fires. The, the weird thing is this could heat the whole house without a problem if we just had it going all day. But you can't always be here putting a fire on, right? Uh, and since we have water in the cabin, like in a water system, we also need to always keep the cabin at a certain temperature. So. I mean, this is our first year with our first, well, yeah, this is our first year, our first season with this cabin being renovated. So we're learning so much as we go. And that's what we said. We're going to have a weird first year, not knowing how much anything is costing, you know, or what's going to happen. But we're just going to have to take it as we go. So I bought Christopher like a diary where he has to keep track of everything that we buy and when we fill you know different stuff like when we buy wood when, like when we're buying gas so we can actually keep track of okay how much are we spending how long is it lasting because then i can adjust the budget for next year you know so that's exciting i need to throw my gym clothes on do you guys want to come with me to the gym yes Usually there's no people there at this time, so let's hope that's the case, but you never know. I'm gonna throw some gym clothes on. We can go. Uh, yeah. And our plan for this year, so much to tell you. Our plan for this year is this. We stay up here all the way until May. My parents are coming in March, so they're coming in about a month. So we stay here all the way up until May and just enjoy it do all of the work that we have and go on snowmobile trips. And then in May, whoosh, out of here. We go for three weeks to Portugal. 
I think that's going to be the perfect way. And then in the summer, we stay up here and we do like one trip somewhere just to get some scenery change. And then in autumn, I go to my sister in America or me and Christopher go. He's never been to America, guys. We need to go. She lives in uh, Connecticut. So we go to see her for like two weeks and we're going to do that around like pumpkin season. Oh, this gets me so excited. So like fall and like at the end of October. So it's a bit of Halloween. It's a bit of pumpkin picking and apple picking. And we hang out there for like two weeks, maybe even longer. So that's exciting. That is exciting. So now I just need to do a lot of work because I'm thinking for like when I go on vacation, I would just have everything filmed and done for YouTube to just post from Svalbard because I realized that that's what I would do. I don't think, I'm not a travel vlogger and I kind of just want my channel to be everything about life up here. So I'm gonna keep it that way. And then I couldn't post extra content. And you also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok for a lot of stuff. I think Instagram is the place where I post everything, like whatever I do, because it's not niched on anything. I just really is what I'm doing at the moment, especially on stories. And then YouTube, I just love to keep it small barred. So that's exciting. Okay, I need to go now. I'm, I'm really stalling. I've been speaking here for 16 minutes. I have so much to say. My foot is sleeping. No, somebody's written to me. I am stalling and procrastinating so much. And I even want to go to the gym. It's just the fact that I have to like go out into the wind. So do you, what, do you, do you want to talk about something? You know this that I shoveled the other day? It's all gone. Like three times after that, we've done a snow stair case, which is also where I fell the other day. It's one of, it's really arctic today, isn't it? Oy, oy, oy. Oh, there's quite a lot of new snow. Isn't it cool how our house matches the ocean? I think that's why the original person who bought it, or who built it, I think this is what he chose that color for. Very nice, very nice indeed. Oh. What's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life I want Get out, we can leave this 
this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your